All right, team, turn! Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. <laughs> All you can do is just laugh. Out in the great outdoors. <laughs> Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you in part by Warrior Boats, The Badger Sportsman, Big Snow Resort, Wilderness North Lodge, Jiffy, Hard and Soft Fishing, Bartline Barrels, Cold Snap, Deep Freeze, Otter, Kamik Law Firm, Lynch of McGonagall, and Wings Over Wisconsin. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Out in the great outdoors. Holy moly. Got here. This is the first fish of the morning. Is it going to be a walleye or what? Walleye. This is the hole I was going to fish out of too. Oh, there you go. Nice job. Hey, what are you fishing with? A jig? An oddball jig? Why do I have a jig and rappel on? Huh? You catch one more, then you have another oddball jig for me. Would you sell me one? Ethan, are you in there? You're not going to be very talkative today? Yeah. Hey, Lonnie, what do you got going here? Hey, <laughs> what the, what's going on here? I'm in fishing out of this 10 inch hole. You got all this. I can't believe you're not trolling up and down this thing. Yeah, we're trolling. We're this is awesome. Oh, well, there he is right there. Ooh, white fish, huh? Nice like little white fish we'll for lunch. All right. There awesome. Is, uh... That is so cool, too. Well, the walleyes are mixing with some of these white fish, but we'll yeah. take it for lunch. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Boy, you catch one more. I don't have to worry about drilling a hole here. I'm going to be bumping right next to you. Nice. Okay, cool. Hey, this week on Larry Smith Outdoors, we're up here in Sturgeon Bay fishing with our good buddy Lonnie here. Hey, Lonnie, tell me what we got going on out here and tell us about your guiding business. Yeah, we're up here uh, most of the winter, January through the end of March, early April. We uh, like our white fish and trophy walleye. Um, White fish are real abundant. They're, a lot of people like to eat them, broil them, grill them, deep fry them, uh, Good. of that nature. Yep. And then trophy walleye. You know, it's not a numbers fishery in the winter here. It's more of a quality For uh, walleye. Uh, trophy yeah. walleye. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, some days we go out in a week, we'll get a couple 10 pounders, eight, six nice pounders, fish. and we go two weeks with a few bites. So it's playing cat and mouse all winter long. It's a trophy fishery in the winter. I think these uh, fish are a little more lethargic in the winter. Just beating a lot of water up and strategizing on deep uh, breaks and basins and trying to find them. That's awesome. You know, at least you're telling people the way it really is for the walleyes. I mean, you guys come out here. I've seen you guys, the whitefish. I can't believe the amount of whitefish yeah. you guys catch in in the shacks that you have for everybody in the your transportation out here. And that's that's a huge thing. You've got all the locators, all the rods when you're doing yeah. the guiding part, and you have shack rentals too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We run 20 houses. Uh, they're eight by 12, they're uh, state of the art, they're all brand new. We, we keep up on them, but it's nice this for a family to come up and catch whitefish. They're, they're good eating, it's fast action. Uh, you, you get the ride out, we meet at the fishing hole bar and grill in the morning. So Perfect. it's just a great setup. We got a bathroom on the ice, you can use the bathroom in the morning. Wow. So we try to make the amenities uh, uh, nice for the families or guys coming up to make sure they're comfortable. You know, and Lonnie, one thing I really love about you, you really work hard and you got a great reputation and you know that's a huge thing you know myself as being a guide as long as I was guiding is that that it really takes a lot to get a really good reputation and you've got a really good reputation and I appreciate you having us up here and hey you know what I'm gonna go try to catch one of them trophy walleyes that's thanks awesome. what do you got not it's, sure yet you're not sure if it's a walleye or it hit it really hard so hard. looks like a nice fish Oh, nice walleye. There you go. Look at that. Ooh, nice save. All right. Nice job. Now, what were you doing? Anything different? Uh, not, nothing different. I seen the mark, and yep. then I just kept jigging it right in front of it, wiggled it, and paused it, and right on that it pond, slammed. It just slammed it hard. Nice fish. You know, that's a great part about up here. Most of the fish you're catching are all really respectable fish, and the colors are absolutely 
Perf perfect. Yeah. Nice, nice job. All right. I didn't get John to fight that time. There we go. You know, I missed like four in a row. And finally, I got hooked up. You know what? What did we call that before? I was getting John before this morning was missing all the fish. He's getting hooked up. So what'd you call it? I got Johnified twice in a row. Now I finally hooked one and got him up. Awesome. Good tip. <laughs> Barb hooked up here. All right, Barb. Hey, Barb, I love that hat. You look like a Russian babe. Hey. Nice. All nice right. Breakfast. That's the same rig. All right. Good job, girl. Uh, we, uh, their walleyes, you know, they kind of shut down. We only got one this morning. Yep. And that's the way this bite kind of is. Sometimes you get one, sometimes yeah. you get ten, right? Get ten in the morning, sometimes you get one. But right. hopefully tonight we get another shot at them. Yep. Well, and that's the nice part about fishing up here too, Lonnie, is that, you know what, if the one the walleye bite shuts off, you got the option to come out and fish whitefish, which yeah. is awesome. Way to spend the rest yeah. of the day yeah. until you get that evening bite again. But yeah, we switched to a slider rig, just a basic lead ball with, okay. a, with a red hook here. and. Uh, it doesn't matter really the color of the hook, but we like red up here and uh, trying to get a dozen 15 for lunch. That sounds good. Are your Barb, what were you tipping that with? Spikes? Waxworms. Wax mm -hmm. She oh. likes her waxworms. Yep. Right. Is she sharing any of them waxworms? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, see. Not her secret weapon. Right. Sometimes You're going to be that way, huh, girl? She's got her secret weapon. She's the one letting us know what she does up there. Right. That's okay. I have no problem with that. Badger Sportsman Magazine, the premier outdoor magazine. Published in Oshkosh and written by Wisconsin sportsmen for Wisconsin sportsmen. Get the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see you having fun out in the outdoors and all you have to do to have a chance of winning a brand new propane Pro 4 auger like this is to submit a picture of you having fun out in the outdoors. Go to badgersportsman.com. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all-new XDH hub shelters and the all-new lightweight one-man XD hideout, on up to the ever-popular XT and XD Pro Series shelters that have earned a near-legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. Looks like a nice fish. Yeah, feels pretty Get him through decent. the hole. Excellent. Boy, we just got in here too. Got him? Oh yeah, I still got him here. Boy, he's got that rod doubled over. Nice job. Ooh, nice. Nice weighty. On the ball rig again. Oh, nice job. All right, Andy, <laughs> you're on the board. It's the first fish, ice fishing in how many years? Come on, Hunter. 
Come on. Get them through the hole. There you go. That's a nicer one. I th actually, Hunter, I think that's the biggest one I've seen caught yet today. I didn't do that. Oh, just broke off. Dude. It I did. Only catch big fish, Larry. All right. So, Hunter, they can stop giving you a hard time now. Yeah, right? yeah they can. No more picking on Hunter. <laughs> no more picking on me. Barb, you got one? Yep. Gotta love that. Look at that. Bonnie, help her out. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What are you digging with there, Ice Queen? The Russian. The Russian. The Russian. Come on, keep Russian reeling. girl. Oh, there's shove ice down there. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. He's on. It's a nice, nice fish. job. Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh, nice fish, nice Barb. Nice fish, Barbara. <laughs> nice job. Want to hold him up for the camera? That's our staple in the wintertime. We do a lot of fish fries and corporate outings up here in Sturgeon Bay. They just love them. Fish tacos. Oh, and she likes her fish tacos. You got one, Ant? I would think this would be number two. Wha zero. What? Like what? Oh. Nice. Oh, he's hooked on the ice. He's hooked on the ice. Oh, nice he's job. Oh, oh, thank you. Out. That is that is absolutely awesome. See? Nice. You weren't going to go down the hole for that fish, I'll tell you that. What? <laughs> That's the trick. Did you see that? You gotta put zebra muscles. Right, you're putting zebra muscles on there, huh? So that made that fish, that rod bend over more, huh? So it looked like it was bigger. It's bad enough that I haven't caught one in this spot yet. You got to put zebra muscles on there. So I think you got this ginormous fish on. Did you want to switch holes and try this? One? Uh, nope. But you know what? You're lucky because you haven't. You don't have any bait left, and we're all out of bait, right? Nobody's got any bait anymore. Right? We're plumb out. Yeah, I fit, you're gone. It's it. <laughs> Hey, Lonnie, yeah, here's you know, a good one. another great fish, boy. I tell you, you know, it's one thing really nice about your guiding is that you always have some place to, oh, that's a dandy, some place for us to fish, you know? Yeah. And that's a nice part, especially when you're up here and you're fishing this kind of water like that, you know, you always want to keep everybody safe. And boy, this is awesome to be out here late season like this and still being able to catch white fish and some walleyes. Yeah, you know, we're on late ice, we got to do shoreline, so. We're tucked in a little uh, nook and cranny here by Sherwood Point area, and uh, you know we're like you're doing fairly decent on the white. Sure, fish. we are. We can't get out on Larson's Reef, but uh, right. This hey. is a slower bite, but yet yeah, we're picking away. At and the nice thing is, it buys us some more time. You know, I mean yeah. that ice out there got pretty bad, and a lot of it looks like from this direction, it looks like it's long gone today. So it is. It kind of buys you some more time, and you know it's one thing about ice fishing. I love the ice fish, so and it was a short season the way it was. Yeah. And so this is great to be able to still have a chunk of safe ice to come out and you know yeah. catch a few more extra days. Yes, hey, are we gonna clean some of these up a little bit later? You're gonna show us how to clean them and you're gonna show us how they taste? Yep. I can be the, the taste tester for sure. I want you uh, to test them and try them. And uh, yeah. we do a shore lunch up here with a, a, a special batter that we like to use. Uh, whitefish have uh, mixed results on them, but we're going to do them fresh and we're going to see what you think. Okay, yeah, I can't wait to, to see how they taste, but first I'm going to go try to catch a few of my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Yep. Hate this fishing. <laughs> What's the old saying? <laughs> sometimes you're the bug and sometimes you're the windshield. I'm sick of being the bug. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? You haven't said a word all day to me, and right away you're laughing at me.
With ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6-inch, 8-inch, and 10-inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip-ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip-up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. Galen's Grubs have been out fishing other plastics for years thanks to their unique action. But the time has come to shake things up a bit. Introducing the Kalen Seismic Series of Grub Swim Baits and Worms. Whether you're drop shotting them for bass or swimming them for walleyes. Look at that walleye! Their action is earth shattering. John from Trophy Ice Fish. Um, we're going to clean some white fish up for you today before we uh, do our fish fry. Um, I'm going to walk you right through the steps of how we do this. First things first, make sure you got a sharp knife. Run your knife right down the gills. Not all the way down to the belly, or not through the belly. You run it down all the way until you get to there. What that does, you're going to eliminate the belly meat. Take your knife right along the backbone and slides right down. So all you're gonna end up with right away is just a flay, right, just like that. This side's a little more difficult because uh, you have to make a couple extra cuts. You go underneath the ribs, get a starter, take your knife and go right along the ribs. Next part of the process, take your finger, and uh, a lot of people think these are Y bones, but they're actually pin bones. They're actually curved towards the back of the fish. So what I like to do, I take my finger, run it all the way down until I feel the end of the bones, which is usually somewhere about here. I take my knife go over the top of the bones, start that same spot, and I go underneath the bones. Keep my knife going the same way both times. If you angle it like you would a Y bone, you'll have your knife going opposite. This one you want to keep your knife going the same way. Skin them. Trim up where your knife didn't go quite through. That's all pin bones right there. And you have a boneless flay. Now for the fish fry, what we do, we actually chunk them up a little bit here. We do this right at, at throughout the process as I'm going. Smaller chunks here. Let them cook a little bit better. We get them right away, we get them into water, get the blood off of it and the scales. That way when we batter them, they're ready to eat. I hate to say this, but it does taste pretty darn good. That is good. Very good. Oh, it's horrible. You don't want any. Way to help out, Angie. This is the first time I have ever fished a crack on the Bay of Green Bay. Oh, look at that fish, don't it? Ooh. What do you got here? Larry? I got Johnny. I got a white fish. Oh, I see that. But right? I just I lost one a couple minutes ago. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> kind of neat fishing that crack. Right, and that? that water is so clear. Thanks, buddy. Uh, what oh, you got him? Oh yeah. Oh, nice job. All right. Thanks, man. Big time. 
You know, I'll tell you, this has been quite the experience up here today. This is probably going to be our last ice fishing adventure for the season. And uh, you know, what a great way to end the season right here. And hey, Johnny, I'll tell you, we, uh, we've had a lot of fun already today. And oh, we yeah. might have a shot at a couple of big walleyes yet tonight. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. no, what, a, what an awesome experience. You know, we had just a great meal there for lunch. That was awesome. The whitefish and a little bit of walleye. And uh, you are? You know what? I'm always hungry. And I was just thinking to myself, I wonder what our old buddy Shotgun Schaefer's cooking today. Thank you, Larry. This week on Larry Smith Outdoors, I am Shotgun Steve Schaefer. I am making walleye. This time, Larry did give me some walleye. I put a little Cajun seasoning on them, and I have Spanish rice cooking back on the stove. This is another recipe, again, that I can make after work. I come home, takes 10, 15 minutes for the rice, about five minutes for the fish, and we are on the table eating. For all you people that work all day long, want something to make, as long as you can get a friend like my friend Larry Smith that hands me fresh fish, I got no problem cooking. All right, let's go back to the stove. I have cores, Spanish rice going right now. It's almost done, so now I'm gonna throw my fresh walleye in here in the frying pan. Once again, the secret to most cooking is having a good base. Here's a little bacon grease again. Let's get that sear going. Walleye going down. Another walleye going down. And one more walleye going down. I gotta use the little ones because that's all he gives me is the little guys. The big ones, I have no idea what he does with them. He's huge on that catch and release stuff. Keep the cover on again, folks. Let it sizzle. I would say anywhere from three to five minutes. Once again, this meal from start to finish is 15 minutes at the tops. It's gonna to take you longer to clean the fish than it is to cook it and prepare it and ready to go. All right, let's finish this meal up. Once again, a big healthy portion of Spanish rice. Let's check out our prize possession here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, look at the shrinkage on there. I wonder if Larry knows anything about that. Here we go, let's put this bad boy on top. One more on top. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Look at that meal. Once again, for Larry Smith Outdoors, fresh walleye Spanish rice. I am Steve Schaefer, the Shotgun Chef, and this will not stay on the table again. Once again, if you want all the recipes, go to LarrySmithOutdoors.com. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Got nice fish, walleye. Yeah, All right. Come on, John. Oh, nice fish. Real nice fish. Look at that fish down there. Oh, nice fish. 
Oh, nice fish, Johnny. Oh, nice fish. You see that? Nice fish. That is a nice fish. Nice, look at the size of that fish. That is a beast. You were saying you were marking quite a few. And look at the size of that. That is a dandy. Oh, got him. Nice job. Nice yeah. job. Woo. Nice Woo. fish. That is a dandy. All right, good job. That's why you come up to Sturgeon Bay is to catch a fish like that. You know, I'll tell you something. That's a trophy walleye anywhere. Larry, I'm hooked up here. It's a big fish. It's a nice fish. <laughs> we just, Johnny just caught that butte over there. It's amazing how that window is so tight here, Lonnie. You know, you get that hour in the morning and hour, hour in the evening. I've always heard that up here. Don't lose it. <laughs> Come on. I want to see. Oh, that fish is really corking. No doubt, not a white fish. Oh, there it is, Lonnie. That's, oh, 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 get her head. Get, get, get the head through the hole. Get the head through the hole. Oh, oh, get the head through the hole. Oh, come on. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. All right, nice job. Hold her up. Woo. Boy, I cannot believe that hook popped off right in the hole. Man, oh, man. You know what? This is the great part about my new job here, being the, the show host is that to be able to fish with you guys and experience all these different bites, this is what it's all about. I haven't fished up in Door County in probably 10 years, and to be able to come up here and see the size of these walleyes, Lonnie, and what you guys have to offer up here, this is absolutely awesome. What a great experience if somebody wants to come up and fish with you guys, catch whitefish, catch walleyes, you know, and you'll be guiding all summer too now, right? Oh, Open yeah. water? I'll be full time starting in April here. We'll go all the way through uh, September, October for trophy fall walleye, spring, summer bass. So wow. we, we'll be full time. That's uh, awesome. We'll have to come up and do some stuff up here this this uh, spring and this summer with you. But that is an awesome fish. The only thing is, you know what? Let's get her back down the hole. So I'm going to get back to my rod. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. That is absolutely awesome. Boop, gone. <laughs> yeah. Nice, yeah, nice job. Around. Hey, I tell you, Lonnie, you guys got a really great group of guys, and I'll tell you which makes it really enjoyable, very professional. We had an awesome day today and an extraordinary night. How can people get a hold of you when they want to contact you on some of this good fishing? Yeah, just call me or Barbara at 920-304-0282 uh, or check us out on the web, uh, www.trophyicefish.com. Now we're going to our summer fishing, so they can check us out at GreenBayTrophyFishing.com. So, yeah, we'll be running all summer, Larry. Excellent. Hey, thanks, you guys, all of you guys. We had an enjoyable day. Hey, and just remember, like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. Hardest sauce is good for covering things up. You don't need to cover that up. You don't. As you dump a big pile of ketchup. That's for the fries. I'm not going to put the fish in the fries, okay? What, do you think something's wrong with me or what? Are you serious? Ah. Come on. I love it. Dan Dan, the cave cameraman. Who else would get a shot up out of the cave but Dan Dan, the caveman cameraman? <laughs>